Nikola Tesla once told Walter Russell to lock away his discoveries for 1,000 years, saying humanity wasn't ready. Why? Because Russell's ideas about the universe, that it's a thought in motion, that matter is an illusion, were too radical even for Tesla. Today, as quantum physics begins to echo his theories, we're finally starting to understand why Tesla gave that warning. What did Russell know that science is only now beginning to accept? Walter Russell's childhood defied every expectation. Before he could walk or speak in full sentences, he could play any melody he heard on the piano, first with one finger, then eventually with all ten. This wasn't just mimicry. He reproduced complex tunes played by his neighbour, a blind man named Mr Maynard, who became his first teacher and spiritual guide. Russell later wrote about those early years, Mr. Maynard lived in the dark, but walked and talked with God in the light. Most children develop skills in a predictable sequence, but Russell's abilities arrived in reverse. Neurologists today might classify him as a savant, but his case was different. He didn't just have an isolated talent. His mind seemed to grasp patterns intuitively, whether in music, nature, or later, the structure of the universe. His connection with Mr. Maynard went beyond music. The blind man recognised something in the boy, sharing not just technique, but a way of perceiving the world. Russell spent hours alone in the woods near his home, describing it as a place where no one else in all my world heard what I heard there nor saw what I saw there. Child prodigies often struggle with isolation, but Russell embraced it. He didn't see his differences as a burden. Instead, he treated his early experiences as clues to a larger truth. That perception isn't limited to the physical senses. Modern research on gifted children shows that many describe similar feelings of being out of sync with their peers, yet few channel it into a lifelong search for universal principles. Russell's childhood wasn't just unusual. It was a preview of how he would later approach science, not through rigid formulas, but by observing the hidden rhythms of existence. What's striking is how these early experiences shaped his later work. The same boy who played piano by ear grew into a man who claimed the universe operated like a musical scale, with matter vibrating at specific frequencies. His childhood in the woods, where he felt attuned to something invisible, mirrored his later belief that reality is a mirage of motion. Most children lose their early sense of wonder, but Russell's only deepened. By the time he turned 49, that lifelong curiosity would erupt into a single, life-altering event, one that would force him to rethink everything he knew. In May 1921, at the age of 49, Walter Russell underwent what he would later call his 39-day illumination. It began with a sudden, blinding flash, like lightning that cut him off from all physical sensation. For 39 days and nights, Russell described being severed from his body and immersed in the mind universe of light, which is God. This was not, in his view, a dream or hallucination. He insisted it was a direct encounter with the fundamental structure of existence. During this extraordinary period, he wrote what would become the Divine Iliad, recording page after page with zero erasures or corrections, as if the knowledge flowed through him fully formed. Most scientific discoveries build slowly, layer by layer. Russell's experience was the opposite. In those weeks, he claimed to grasp the underlying principles of mathematics, chemistry, astronomy and mechanics all at once. He saw creation as governed by a single, endlessly repeating pattern a principle he believed was simple enough to explain to any scientist in minutes. Where modern science often separates its fields, quantum mechanics for the very small, relativity for the very large, Russell insisted that these were all just different expressions of the same universal law. What set his experience apart wasn't only the intensity, but the clarity. He saw God not as a distant being, but as the undivided, unchanging one at the center of all divided things, the source behind every illusion of separation. Mystics throughout history have reported similar flashes of awareness. 
But Russell's vision came with the conviction that he could articulate this unity in scientific terms. He emerged certain that matter, energy, and even time were all manifestations of a single unified field. Russell's insight came with a practical component. He described the universe as operating on an octave wave pattern, a rhythmic cycle of compression and expansion. He drew diagrams to illustrate this principle, convinced that any scientific theory could be tested against it. While traditional researchers spent lifetimes questioning their models, Russell claimed his illumination left no doubt. Though skeptics dismissed his ideas, some of his descriptions, like the interplay of divided light and the fleeting nature of particles, now echo in the language of quantum physics. But the most radical conclusion Russell drew from his illumination was yet to come. It wasn't just the laws of science he wanted to rewrite. It was the very nature of matter itself. The new age of consciousness. Russell described this coming transformation as the dawn of a new world thought. In 1944, he wrote, this new age is marking the dawn of a new world thought, signaling his belief that a profound shift was already underway. He saw the new age not as wishful thinking, but as an inevitable stage in human evolution, rooted in the unity of all people and the interconnectedness of everything. Drawing on the new thought movement, which emphasized the creative power of the mind and the divinity within each person, Russell envisioned a future in which individuals would awaken to their true nature and recognize the genius inherent within everyone. He believed this awakening would be marked by what he called a marriage between religion and science, a phrase he used to describe a new era beginning in 1946. For Russell, this union would dissolve the old boundaries between spiritual wisdom and scientific discovery, creating a unified understanding of reality. He saw his own 39-day illumination not as an isolated miracle, but as the first wave of a global renewal of consciousness, a signal that the rest of humanity would soon experience similar breakthroughs. Russell didn't limit his vision to abstract philosophy. He took real-world steps to spread these ideas, giving lectures on rhythmic balanced interchange to corporate audiences such as IBM. He also worked with organizations like the Twilight Club, which aimed to channel positive spiritual impulses into society. These efforts reflected his conviction that changing individual consciousness could lead to tangible improvements in the world, echoing the new thought principle that ethical living and positive thinking could elevate civilization. What set Russell apart was his insistence that this transformation would be measurable. He predicted that people would develop new senses, able to perceive energy fields and thought vibrations directly. While modern neuroscience has shown the brain's capacity for adaptation, Russell believed the leap would be far greater. A sudden collective illumination, like a light flicking on for all of humanity. He described this as a shift that would reveal what was always present but hidden from ordinary awareness. Not everyone accepted his vision. Many in the scientific community dismissed his predictions and models, seeing them as speculative or unproven. Yet Russell's ideas about unity, consciousness, and the blending of science and spirituality have quietly influenced fields from integrative medicine to consciousness studies. As we consider the world today, his vision of a new age, where the boundaries between matter and mind dissolve, raises questions that are more relevant than ever. Russell's theories, once dismissed, now find echoes in modern science. Today, experiments in entanglement and vacuum fluctuations hint at a universe more like Russell's divided light than the classical solidity we once believed in. Walter Cronkite once called him the Leonardo da Vinci of our time. Recognizing a mind that spanned art, science, and philosophy, if Russell was right, that light shapes matter and thought shapes reality, how might that change your everyday life? Take a moment to reflect on what possibilities that opens for you. If you're intrigued by these hidden rhythms, subscribe and join us as we uncover more cosmic secrets. As Russell said, mediocrity is self-inflicted, genius is self-bestowed,